Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. The purpose of this presentation is to provide a brief overview of our first learning module for EDCI 594. This learning module is entitled Understanding Giftedness and Talent. Really the main purpose of this learning module is to give you a broad overview of what is gifted education, what does it actually mean to be gifted. So you'll see that I've posted two overarching learning objectives for this module. The first is to propose a concise definition of giftedness, drawing on diverse definitions of scholars in the field. And the second is to explain the research that combats common myths related to gifted and talented education. So those are really the two main topics that we'll cover in this first learning module. The first, how do we define giftedness? And the second, what are some common myths that society has about gifted students and gifted education? And what is the research that we can use to combat those? So one thing that you will quickly realize is that gifted education may not be what you think it is. In fact, gifted education differs from state to state and actually even at times district to district and at times school to school. Um, so it's really important that you are examining multiple definitions of giftedness. One thing to point out is the assignments that are associated with this learning module. So within this first learning module, you first have your introductory discussion board post. The purpose of this is really for me to get to know you and your classmates, um, to get to know each other, and also to provide you some practice with what these discussion board assignments look like. Then you have an assignment to take that myths and reality survey. Um, I've indicated this on the survey, but it's not graded for being correct, so I'm not even going to see your answers. I just want you to write your answers down as you complete them. You'll also take a diversity and gifted education survey. After completing both of those surveys, I want you to take a break from the surveys and start examining the library content. Okay, so within each library for all of your learning modules, I've divided that into four different segments. So I have readings, lectures, which are basically like PowerPoint presentations, videos, and handouts. So why do I do that, right? You will notice a lot of the content starts to overlap, and I do that on purpose. What I'm doing is differentiating for process. So I am giving you the same material in multiple ways, right? So the way that you're processing the information is different. Um, you can also think of that as you know, bringing in those universal design for learning components. So I just want to give you multiple avenues to understand the material. One question I often receive is, do I have to memorize everything? Not really. Um, this assignment, or rather this class, is built so that you are learning along the way and you are completing these weekly discussion board posts and these assignments. Um, but there's not any kind of a huge test at the end. So I really want you to challenge yourself to get away from that A-plus mindset of flashcards and memorization and really focus on digging deep into this material. So typically my suggestion is to start with the content that's presented in your most familiar manner. So for example, I really love handouts. I like material that is well organized. So I start with handouts and then I'll go to some of the more um, detailed readings, then I, like then I like watching the videos, and then I like looking at the lectures. That could be something totally different for you. Um, so no pressure to use my format. Just know that I purposely provide some overlap in the way that I am presenting the information. A couple of things to look out for in that library content that we will be referencing throughout the semester. The first is the South Carolina Best Practices Manual. Um, that is the best practice in gifted education manual for South Carolina. So obviously, we want to have that material. Um, you're only required to read one chapter for this first learning module, but we'll reference that several times so you will become familiar with that best practices module or um, Practices handout. There we go. 
Um, also, I want you to keep a good look on definitions. So a lot of the library content will review um, various definitions of giftedness. So make sure that you're keeping track of those. Which of those definitions do you think is best? We have a federal definition, we have a South Carolina definition, and then definitely make sure you're paying attention to how various theorists and researchers in the field are defining giftedness. One name I want you to really look out for is Joseph Renzulli. Um, Renzulli's three ring concept of giftedness is very well known. Um, it's actually my favorite definition, so it's a good one to make sure that you're keeping your eye out for. Okay, so there's your library content. What that is meant to do is kind of mimic me, if this were a face-to-face, -face, it's meant to mimic, oh, Dr. Catalana is giving various presentations, she's showing some videos in class, she assigned some readings, and she gave us this handout, right? So that's why I give it in multiple different avenues. Um, from there, you've got a little bit of understanding. Um, then you're going to complete the Myths and Realities Survey Reflection. And that just requires you to look back at what you initially posted um, for your responses for that myths and reality survey and now that you have a little bit of understanding think about well why did I think this was true when it actually wasn't um, and make sure you're looking at the explanations for those answers as well lastly for this learning module we have our first case study and this case study is built on advocating for the importance of gifted education so you'll read the case study and respond to the discussion post that I have provided. Again, the whole concept for learning module one, first and foremost, do you feel comfortable with the class? Have you read the syllabus? Do you know how to get in touch with me? Are you comfortable with the online setting? Um, and then secondly, to start to wet your feet in what is gifted education. So we're really focusing on definitions of gifted education and how to combat those common myths that we hold about the gifted population. Really excited to get started with you guys. This is a great foundation for a course. It's so important that we reach a common definition of giftedness and that you realize that giftedness can look different from state to state. And even more importantly, as we'll see during our next learning module, giftedness looks different in each child. So next time, we will start to examine unique characteristics as well as needs in the gifted population.